So in the last video, I told you we're going up north and we're gonna go visit the north of Vancouver Island and then slowly make our way back down. Um, it is still the plan, but I've been driving for a little bit this morning and it's been raining on and off and I thought this morning I was like, yeah, let's let's drive and right now, I don't know if it's the heat of the van, but I just feel like uh, I want to relax right now. And I think it's uh, maybe a good idea that I just uh, stop here. Uh, because I do have a lot of like little renovation to do inside the van and I've been putting them off and I feel like I feel on a little bit of the pressure of the to-do list right now and um, so I think we're gonna tackle a couple little projects this morning and I just stop at this rest area and we can stay here all night long uh, no problem and so I think that's what we're gonna do. So you might think, I mean, I feel like um, you're doing a lot of renovation lately. Yes, yeah, because my van's falling apart. I have such a big to-do list of stuff that I want to do in a van. And I don't feel like they are like really like, I mean, everything's work okay, but things are just falling apart. I have like, I make a list yesterday, 13 things that I should do and one of them pick up my uh, underwear on the floor <laughs> uh, so I have this here which is all my clothes that I own and the door is right there you probably wonder what's what happened there this is what happened so the screw that we're going to my hinge just broke down the bottom too I have another cabinet, this one too. <laughs> so in fact, I have three cabinets today to fix. Uh, what happened with this one here, uh, the one with all my clothes, it is I did the floor two weeks ago. Uh, uh, yeah, two weeks ago, I've done my floor, which I didn't, I didn't really film this. Uh, it was supposed to be a surprise, but I've been kind of showing here and there. And, um, I wanted to do a van tour, but I think it's gonna be like further and further because I do have still a bunch of stuff to do. But I put like the wood plank uh, for the floor uh, on top of my bed. And when I went in the back country, because this whole van is built in the back country, literally, uh, this is always what I do. And it's built only with the jigsaw and the drill. Yes, <laughs> that's the only two tools power tool that I have um, so I went in the back country and the box that was on top of my bed slide and just rip the whole cabinet and push the cabinet and broke the top one and now the broken the, the bottom one and I tried to fix with a bunch of um, I look online and I find a couple of little tips so I have to fix that and I try one tip and it didn't work. So I'm gonna try what my idea is, is just to make a patch. Uh, it's gonna be a temporary solution. Why I'm making temporary solution it is because I've been really rethinking really this week. Um, when I'm gonna go in Quebec in spring, uh, my father's got all my tools. In fact, I do have a table saw have like a bunch of stuff i used to uh, i went in high school in furniture making i know it doesn't look like it because like i say everything is made from recycled material and from uh, second and my material and with just jigsaw working 50 hours a week when i started the van so it's kind of like make super basic and um at that time i didn't really talk about all the constant movement of the van so this thing's falling apart literally and i want to make things stronger when i'm going to go there so i'm going to use my table saw uh spread myself uh we probably not going to live so much in my van for a little bit at that time uh, kelly's going to be inside my parents house she's going to out the after off the love of my mom and all that and i'm going to be able to just fix things and make things stronger which is what i really Pretty, pretty, pretty want to do right now so one of the problem too is if you see those two cabinets were purchased at the thrift store uh, for ten dollars each uh, and things just not straight 
right there this move this is so this one is so bad this i made this one is just it's pretty much holding with a bunch of hell bracket right now it is so bad guys and if you are like oh amy you can adjust those door i know that i like i say i, I study in furniture making and i work in construction and installing cabinets for people inside their kitchen so i know that part obviously but uh things are just the screw and everything just constantly move so i try a couple of times to readjust things and they just go back to their original place which seems to be all crooked so I decide to not really bother with this. The only thing that I want right now is just to have things that don't open when I'm driving and things don't fall apart. So this is my little project today. Just make things to just just to survive until I go in Quebec and get all my tools and build this van a little bit more better so I can handle the backcountry road, which I do <laughs> quite a lot. Uh, hopefully I have everything here all right let's go back inside I am probably forgetting something obviously all right it is an air up type of day so this is a tool that I think I'm gonna need uh, we'll see if I get everything, hopefully. Um, so my plan is to cut a little piece of this, I don't know, quarter inch piece of wood and put it inside there, make it fit. So we'll have a solid piece of wood to be able to screw back the hinge. So this is what I'm gonna attempt to do on this one. And I also have some white paint inside here that uh, I can just do a little quick job so it look a tiny little bit better, but I'm not really bothered. Just, you know, just me open this for my clothes and all that. So it's all good. So I'm gonna try to not having too much to insert. So I'm just gonna go from the hole to the other hole and cut this part empty all this part here so I can fit this part inside here all right so now this is just fine so I just need trace this part here like go so my tip for you if you are to build a van obviously if you are in the budget like I was when I started the van uh, cabinets already made like this I mean those ones seems to be like from the 90s so they probably like you know a good maybe 20 years ago if not more than that so they obviously have their own life before I put them in the van uh, other than a couple of little things they're doing all right but yeah my my tip will be to if you can start right away with like not putting any MDF but actual wood or plywood a very good quality of plywood uh, that would be my tip which will save you some problem I mean this could happen to anybody with any type of furniture but MDF are just like a compressed wood all piled up together like sawdust glued together pretty much so and when things falling apart you cannot really like deal with that like it's just some sawdust to just make a mess everywhere then when it's actual wood it's easier to replace and way stronger so gonna attempt this and see how that work I try with uh, just a little piece of run wood where the screw would be that didn't work at all that last one day <laughs> so I think in probably in the regular house would be maybe all right but not here in the van way too much vibration and things going on so 
gonna try this this will be the, my last attempt after that nothing that I can do so I've been using the chisel to kind of ch move the piece here but I thought I could use this drill here could be a little bit easier I'm gonna try it So the drill, uh, it's working, it's very good, but I'm gonna remove the, all my clothes there because I'm gonna have like sawdust on my underwear. <laughs> I don't want that. So this thing here where I put all my clothes, it's been there since the beginning. And it's just something that you put in your closet. And I put a couple of screws on the top to hold it there. So kind of save on the weight instead of having shelf in wood and yeah it's pretty good like for a long time I didn't have a door on that shelf uh, over there and like most of the time if I don't have like a fresh lonely like I have right now uh, things stay there and doesn't fall so it's been pretty good I really like it all right so I'm gonna attempt to see if that's gonna work pretty close a little bit more shimming and I think we're gonna be good I'm so dusty though I am covered in dust uh, the joy of building your van while you're living in it put some glue and I have some clamp and just gonna clamp that for for a good hour. Mm, I put too much glue. All right, patch number one done. I uh, pretty much don't even need to put the clamp because was such a tight fit but I'm gonna put one anyway so I'm gonna do the same thing in the bottom one all right the other one is now fixed I'm gonna wait again that the glue uh, is done drying and we're gonna paint this white so it'll look better but I am covered in sawdust. Ugh. Oh my god. So I just wait a couple of minutes. It's still wet. So what I'm going to do uh, instead of me painting over <laughs> the glue. <laughs> which will be my type of thing. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to put all those stuff away and make lunch because it's like two, almost three o'clock and I didn't even have lunch. So uh, make something to eat. And after that, we should be able to paint the little trim. And this is what I always look like every time I <laughs> make some construction inside the van stuff everywhere yeah and I have no idea my bed was made this morning and <laughs> I have no idea what happened right there oh well For my lunch I'm just gonna have super simple little uh, fried rice so I use those uh, those one here and yeah just fry that I'm gonna put some mushroom I think I'm gonna put them all because they get start to get old I got a little bit of red bell pepper and some snap peas so just gonna make a mix and yeah should be alright Oh, and uh, if you wonder if the heater was on all day, 
nope <laughs> uh, it's been really warm <laughs> you know I told you guys I will install the heater and it's gonna start to be warm so it is currently like 16 degrees inside the van I'm sure when uh, the sun's gonna set even though it's behind the cloud it's gonna slowly cool down but yeah we have like a, a good week of rain 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 <laughs> Uh, so it's not gonna be that cold. It's all good. All right, so I sauteed vegetable a couple minutes and I'm just gonna put the rice, saute that for maybe uh, two or three minutes and we're gonna be good to put some salsa and eat. So I just break the rice to saute. <clears throat> I put a little bit of chili plates. <laughs> I like it a little bit spicy. Alright, so that's pretty much done. I'm just gonna put some little splash of soy sauce, not too much. And lunch, dinner will be served. So there you go. Beautiful little lunch. Want some kitty? <laughs> you look so funny like this. Oh yeah, that's the type of day I have to do that. Still raining outside. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> so I almost forgot that I wanted to fix this one too as well. So, what's up kitty? still ringing outside so this one when I drive it just move a little bit and this here slowly make his way back doop, 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 down and I turn a corner and woo, all the food end up on the floor so this I've got a couple time before so what I have to do is just to tighten those screws to make things a little bit more um, strong. This happened like maybe every two or three months. That's what I have to do from this one. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. All right, painting now. Oh, so what you need to paint, you need some dirty store paintbrush and you need some dirty store paint. So I always have to carry black and white here. So I'm gonna do some touch up with this one. This is finally the test. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, oh, I'm so happy things are back. I mean, we can tell a little bit, but yeah, there you go. Hide a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. And this is closing now. So I have to admit that I didn't really want to do this today, but I'm so happy that I finally did it. It's going to look so much better here. So I already crossed the three on the list. So I have now 10 more to go. Yeah, the joy of living in a van sometimes. <laughs> things change, things broke, things move. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's a good entertainment. If you wonder what we do during the day, living in the van. Yeah, sometimes that's what we do. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna let you with this. I will put everything back underneath the bed and just relax for the evening. I do have uh, Wi-Fi here, so I'm just gonna probably watch a bunch of stuff on uh, YouTube and I will see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm gonna drive north, even if it's raining because it's supposed to rain for a week, so. Better to drive and to explore, even if it's raining. All right, guys, see you soon, bye.